Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to create curves or this curved line using GIMP. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass on Udemy, or you can enroll in my WordPress masterclass also on Udemy, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's get into it. You're gonna start by hitting Control N on your keyboard to create a new image and click OK. So what I need to do first is draw some guides on our composition, and I can do this by going to Image, guides, new guide by percent. And we're just gonna start with a vertical guide and it's gonna be at 50% and click okay. That's gonna set up a nice center guide there. So next I'm gonna add a guide above and below this guide so that we just have a reference for where we want to drag our handles. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment, but let's just hit control shift F that's gonna bring up the new guide by percent feature we just used. So that's just a shortcut key there. If you're on a Mac, it's probably Command Shift F. But what we'll do now is just change this position to 20 and click OK. So now we have a 20% horizontal guide. You can set that to whatever you want. Just make sure that you mirror that on the other side here. So Control Shift F and we're gonna set this to 80%. So now we've got 20% from the top, 20% from the bottom, which is 80%. And now we're gonna add guides every 20% along the vertical axis, but we're gonna start 10% from the left and end 10% from the right. So I'll hit Control Shift F, and we're gonna change this to vertical. And so for the first one, we'll set that to 10%, and then Control Shift F again. So what we'll do is just go every 20%, so we'll change that to 30, click OK. Control Shift F, change this to 50, click OK. Control Shift F, 70, Control Shift F, 90. So that'll be our last one. So now we've got this set up. Next what we'll do is we'll grab the Bezier Curves tool or the Paths tool. So you can grab that from your toolbox here or by hitting the B shortcut key. And I'll make sure snapping to my guides is turned on by going to View, Snap to Guides and make sure there's an X there. So now I'm just going to click to create a node for my path. And I'm just gonna do this at each one of the guides where the guides intersect. And then I can hover my mouse over each node. You'll see a little move tool icon in the top right corner of the mouse. So I'm just going to move this to make sure it snaps to the guides and just repeat that for all of these, just to make sure it's nice and accurate. Once I've done that, now I need to drag the handles for these nodes. So what I'll do is just hold the control key and I'm either gonna drag the handle straight up or straight down. And in this case, because this is the first node along the curve, you're not gonna see anything happening. But when you drag the second handle here by holding control and clicking and dragging your mouse, you'll see now you get a curve. So you wanna make sure you drag this in whatever direction you want the curve to start out in. So you can see here, if I go down, the curve obviously goes down. So because this curve is going in a downward direction, the next node here, we're gonna hold control and click and drag the first handle with our mouse. We're gonna drag that also in a downward direction. And then this handle here, because we now want this going in the opposite direction, so we want it coming up, now the second handle will hold control and click and drag that up. So come over here, click on the node, click and drag while holding the control key. The first handle goes in the same direction, so up, and the second handle will go down by holding control and clicking and dragging. So click here, hold control, click and drag down, hold control, click and drag up. And releasing my mouse each time. So on the last one here, hold control, click and drag, and you'll see it's not gonna do anything because it is the last node. You can just move this one down for the last one. Hold control, move this one up. So now over here in the Paths tab, you're gonna see we have our unnamed path. So that's the curve we just drew. What we need to do is come over here to the Layers panel and click to create a new layer and just name it Curve, fill it with Transparency and click OK. So with this curve now selected, we'll come over here under the Paths tab and click this icon, Paint Along the Path. And you can choose your options here. So we'll go with a stroke line, solid color, 
the line width will be 15, and the line style, we're gonna go with the first option here for the cap style. Join style, I'll set to round. And for the dash preset, you can leave it to custom, which right now by default is the same as line, either one. You can also go with a dotted line or a dash line if you want. Once you're ready, come over here and click stroke. And now you've got a very evenly curved line. So I'll hit control shift T to get rid of the guides. And if I hit the M key, it'll grab a different tool. So that's the move tool. And now you can just see what this looks like without all the lines and the guides. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.